everyone, welcome back to Mike Mini Motors. So recently I've been trying to get this welding table done and I got a bunch of modifications I want to do to it and trying to get this done so they can get a bunch of this stuff organized is kind of making some of these projects take a back seat so my content's been a little slower and I apologize for that. But I figured since I'm doing it, might as well record it and put it out there for you guys. Um, maybe one of you guys or some of, some of you might want to see some of the stuff I do the welding table or get some ideas maybe if you're going to build your own. So uh, yeah, let me, uh, I'll grab the camera and get a little closer look and we can see what I've done so far and what we're going to do today. So let's get to it. All right, so here's the, the welding table as it sits today. I should have taken a picture of this thing when I first picked it up. But like I said, I did show you guys a little bit on the, the project reveal video. I did it a couple weeks ago or whatever it was. But I've spent uh, a lot of time on the surface here, grinding it down and trying to smooth it out as best I can and everything. And let's see if we can try to get the, the light in the way. And uh, yeah, so I got it. It was like completely rusted and pitted and gross, but it came out okay. Um, then I, I scribed in some a grid patterns for every six inches and then drilled and tapped holes so that I can put. Uh, my clamps and stuff in there and bolt stuff down like here's a clamp I made just a little clamp from Harbor Freight see it goes in the hole there with a little hook lock it down also got these guys I gotta redo them a little bit they hook in too and then I mounted my tubing notcher here in the corner so that when I get to building the power wheels thing, I can notch my tubes. I built some fixturing for both my grinder and vise so far so that I can bolt them in place and then just take out a couple of bolts, throw them underneath the table when I don't need them. And then down here below, I welded on casters so I can move this thing around easier. And then also, let's see if we can see this little angle iron pieces so I can hook the ground of my welder on there and that's how she is now but what we're going to do is I picked up ow, uh, these couple of metal filing cabinets second hand for 20 bucks something cheap and then I'm going to actually build a floor across or some bars that go from each leg across and make like a little way to where I can mount the file cabinets underneath of here and then make where I can hook, hook up or put all my grinding discs and the dustpan. Just try to put a bunch of stuff down there. And then on the other side of the table, I'll have a shelf. So the, the grinder and vise and my uh, chop saw over there can all have a home. Okay, so that's how the welding table is right now. Um, it's taken me quite a bit of time to even get to this point. Um, I'm learning that this uh, metal fab and stuff like that actually takes quite a bit more time than I originally thought it would. But what we're going to do today is I'm going to start with, I bought some different tubing and piping and whatnot that I'm going to make the braces that curl across the bottom legs. And because uh, there's ones that are already in here, but they're about halfway up the leg. And I'm going to cut those, well, maybe cut those out depending on where they sit for the rest of my stuff. At least the one side where I'm going to put the file cabinets in, I'll need to cut those out. So I'm going to get the bottoms all welded in and then make little supports for the file cabinets, get those in there. And I'd like to say I'll probably get more than that, but knowing how slow this stuff actually, or how slow I am at it, uh, that's probably about as far as I'll get tonight. So let's go ahead and get some... Actually, first I'm going to have to get my grinder out and grind the paint off so I can weld to this, but do that and then we can get our uh, tubing cut and start getting welded in.
right, so we got the the first bar cut and in place. And when doing that, I realized that I don't even have enough of this steel to do all four legs. I thought I had enough, but this one I only cut a couple inches off of it, and then my other piece I have uh, should be about 10 feet, so I could do two more because it should be about four feet each, and I'll have to leave one for now, which sucks because. It's Friday night and the steel place is only open Monday through Friday and I'm not going to go to Home Depot or Lowe's to buy a piece because I could get a four foot section there for probably more than it costs to get a 20 foot section at the steel place so that sucks but anyways got this one done and uh, now I get the other at least two more cut um, another thing I don't know if you guys caught in the hyperlapse but I was trying to get a little stack of something to be able to space up so my my bar is level in there and I haven't found a good combination of anything yet that equals that. So I might have to make something just so I have myself a little standoff block so that my bars are supported over here because this next one's going to be a 10 foot cut. So uh, we'll see how that goes. But let's get this next two cut and then I can start getting them welded in. So I got uh, these fully welded in now. They ain't going nowhere. Probably over welded. But, uh, and then I got the, the bar here cut out. I wanted to try to do it in one piece and just cut the welds. But it's, it's inside this angle iron. It was just a little too difficult to get my grinder in there. So I just hacked the ends off and uh, actually hit the other piece a couple times. But <laughs> I got that off of there. And then I did also my angle iron I had up here for my welding ground. I cut it down because uh, the file cabinet was going to hit it because uh, it's actually stuck down just a little bit below this and this is pretty close tolerance right now. Um, I was also talking about using the, the feet of the file cabinet as like bolts to uh, secure it. I um, decided to go not go that route because on the darker file cabinet the bolts, the feet or feet were long enough because the, where they go into the file cabinet is actually recessed up about I don't know, an inch maybe and so these ones would have worked but these ones on the, the lighter one are much shorter and wouldn't have worked I could have done two and two but I also didn't want to have to deal with trying to measure and calculate exactly the perfect spot to drill the holes for the bolt holes and whatnot so what I've decided I'm going to do is take my angle iron I just bought some one inch by yeah one inch by one inch angle iron today 20 foot stick and so I'm gonna build almost like a a trough or kind of tray, if you will, that will contain these, and I think that should work pretty well. Um, another thing is I'm not going to put them in here centered. I'm going to actually favor the side over here because on this side of the, the file cabinet over here is where I'm going to store all my grinding discs. So, you know, even if I had a, a stack of a bunch of them, they're still not that big, so I only need a little bit of space, and then. That way I can maximize the space over here for whatever I end up deciding to put on this side of it. So um, let's go ahead and uh, start doing some measuring and cutting and getting that angle iron in here. And 
and then we should be able to get these trial cabinets set in place. So I got all my uh, angle iron tacked in place and measured out. So now it's time to test fit these file cabinets and see if they fit. And hope they do. <laughs> him up a bit but all right sweet they fit they're not gonna fall out I might stir him up a bit or winch some stuff in here just so they don't rattle around but I yeah, got a bunch of storage here and yeah Awesome, so all I'm gonna do now is finish up welding because uh, it's just tack welded now and call it night. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this episode up. And yeah, thanks for watching. If you guys liked it, go ahead and like the video. Uh, leave me a comment if you'd like and uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. So, all right, thanks a lot, guys. Bye. Jeez, I'm like a bomb went off. Yeah.